Imagine this. You're nine years old and you could lift your dad's car. Or you look at a sunset and see 99 million colors that I literally cannot show you because my eyes don't have the hardware. Or you break your arm and feel nothing, no pain, no warning, until you see the bone sticking out. These aren't scenes from Marvel. These are real people, right now. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you eight genetic mutations that break reality. But remember, every superpower comes with a price tag that'll make you grateful you're normal. Stay until the end because number one looks like a real-life vampire. Number eight, the toddler Hulk. At nine months old, most babies are learning to crawl. Liam Hoekstra was doing perfect pull-ups. By age three, he had a six-pack and could hold a three-kilogram dumbbell at full extension for minutes. That's adult bodybuilder territory. Liam has myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. His body forgot how to make the stop-growing protein. Result? Muscles that never hit the brakes nearly double the muscle mass, almost zero body fat. It's the only mutation on this list with zero medical downsides. No pain, no side effects, just raw power. But imagine being a five-year-old who hugs his mom and accidentally cracks her rib. Or a kid who can never hide in a crowd because his shoulders are broader than his teacher's. The superpower is real. The loneliness is too. Number 7. The Human Camera In 2005, Stephen Wiltshire took a 20-minute helicopter ride over London. When he landed, he drew the entire city from memory. Not the highlights, every single building, perfect to scale. The accuracy was mathematically impossible. Stephen has savant syndrome. His brain doesn't just store images, it archives them like a 4K DVR that never deletes. People with this condition can calculate cube roots faster than a calculator, play a symphony after hearing it once, memorize a phone book in an hour. They're running biological software the rest of us can't install. About half of savants have autism. Scientists think the brain rewires itself. It deletes the social apps to supercharge the memory processor. Your brain becomes a supercomputer, but you lose the user manual. Stephen can draw every brick in Buckingham Palace, but might not recognize his own brother's face. He can memorize a map of Tokyo, but can't order coffee without help. Memory is a superpower, but you have to sacrifice your humanity to get it. Number 6. The Curse of Never Forgetting Ask Jill Price what she wore on June 17, 2003. She'll tell you, blue jeans, gray t-shirt, turkey sandwich at 11.42 a.m., 73 degrees with patchy clouds, and that she argued with her mom about a phone bill. Jill has hyperthymesia, highly superior autobiographical memory. Fewer than 100 people on Earth have it. When they see a date, their brain autoplays a 4K movie of that day, completely involuntary. Sounds incredible, right? Here's the nightmare. They can't hit pause. Every embarrassing moment, every breakup text, every funeral, they remember the exact words, the smell in the air, the knot in their stomach, and the memories never fade. The pain from 15 years ago feels as fresh as this morning's coffee. One woman described it as living with a crowd of ghosts, every version of yourself screaming for attention all at once. But here's the twisted part. People with hyperthymesia often fail exams. They can tell you what they had for lunch on a random Tuesday five years ago, but can't remember what they studied yesterday. Their brain is too busy replaying 2008 to care about memorizing new facts. Memory is a superpower. Forgetting is a mercy. Number 5. The woman who sees impossible colors. Try to imagine a color that doesn't exist. You can't. Your brain just shows the blue screen of death. But there are people, mostly women, who don't have to imagine they see impossible colors every single day. It's called tetrachromacy. Normal humans have three kinds of color cones, red, green, blue. Tetrachromats have four. That extra cone unlocks a palette of up to 100 million colors while you're stuck with one million. A red apple? To them, it's 50 shades of red you've never seen. A sunset? It's a kaleidoscope of colors that literally don't exist in your vision. Now here's where science starts fighting itself. Some researchers refuse to believe it's real. The genetic mutation shows up in 12% of women. Yes, only women, thanks to X chromosomes. But proving someone actually perceives these colors is nearly impossible. How do you describe a color that no human language has a word for? In 2010, a British woman identified as CDA29 passed every test. She could distinguish between shades that looked identical to everyone else in the lab. She spent 40 years thinking everyone saw what she saw. But here's the controversy that keeps scientists up at night. What if she's just better at distinguishing shades, not seeing new ones? The debate is so heated, some call it the tetrachromacy war. She sees a secret world hiding in plain sight, and she'll never be able to prove it to you. If you know someone who sees colors that don't exist, send them this video. Let's see if they can prove it in the comments. Number 4. Imagine holding your hand on a hot stove. You smell your skin burning before you feel a thing. One in 25,000 people are born with congenital insensitivity to pain. Broken bones feel like a light tap. A stab wound? Pressure. 
They can walk on a shattered ankle and think it's sprained. Sounds like a superpower? It's a death sentence. Pain is your body's fire alarm. Without it, you don't know you're on fire until you're ashes. Kids with this condition bite through their own tongues eating breakfast. They scratch their corneas in their sleep. They die from infections they never felt brewing. Most don't live past childhood. There's a village in Sweden where this mutation is unusually common. Scientists don't study them to kill pain. They study them to understand why pain is the only thing keeping you alive. You'd trade everything for super strength. These people would trade everything to feel a paper cut. Number three, the man with titanium bones. Imagine a skeleton so dense you can survive a car crash that would turn a normal person's bones to dust. That's trichodentoosseous syndrome. One patient reportedly broke a baseball bat with a single swing of his forearm. His bone mineral density is so high, doctors call it unbreakable. So where's the catch? His bones are titanium. His teeth are paper. The same mutation that makes his skeleton invincible destroys his enamel. His teeth chip, crack, and decay constantly. He can survive a fall from a building, but can't bite an apple without screaming. Scientists are studying him to cure osteoporosis, a disease that shatters 3 million elderly bones every year. Sometimes your greatest strength is just a side effect of your greatest weakness. Number two, the living statue. You bump your shoulder and arm when playing basketball. A normal bruise heals in a week, but if you have Stoneman syndrome, that bruise doesn't heal, it turns to bone. A small injury triggers your body to replace damaged muscle with solid bone, forever. Over time, your muscles don't regenerate, they calcify. You grow a second skeleton inside your skin that slowly imprisons the first one. It starts in childhood, usually in the neck and shoulders, then spreads downward like a wave of petrification. A broken arm. A dental cleaning. Even a bad flu can trigger a flare-up that locks another joint in stone. As the ossification spreads to your chest and ribcage, you literally can't expand your lungs to breathe. Most die from respiratory failure, suffocated by their own skeleton. Here's the cruelest part. There's no cure. If surgeons try to remove the bone, your body treats the surgery as another injury and grows more bone in the surgical site. You're not dying from a disease. You're being fossilized alive. Number one, the real life vampire. If you saw someone with ghost white skin, pointed teeth, no hair, and dark circles, you'd think they stepped out of a horror movie. This is hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia, or the vampire syndrome. It destroys your sweat glands, teeth, and hair. But the real horror isn't how you look. It's thermal. On a hot day, your body sweats and cools. There's cooks from the inside. They can't regulate temperature. A heat wave isn't uncomfortable. It's lethal. They live in air conditioning, obsessively monitor their core temp, and avoid sunlight like it's trying to kill them. Because it is. The pointed teeth? Enamel dysplasia. The hairless skin? Ectodermal failure. Hollywood calls it the perfect monster aesthetic. In reality, it's a full-time medical emergency. Famous actor Michael Berryman has this disorder. Horror films typecast him as a monster. He became an icon by owning the spotlight anyway. Your weakness can be your weapon, if you're brave enough to wield it. So, there you have it. Eight genetic mutations that break reality. Which superpower would you like to have? The strength that isolates you? The memory that tortures you? The colors you can never describe? Comment with one you'd pick and why you'd regret it within a week.